Look, brother, you know, the information that you offer the people, I mean, you are truly an educator, brother. Um, I have to say that you're truly an educator. Peace, family. I'm very happy, very humbled to be on this platform. I look forward to talking to you all, discussing credit um, and also discussing solutions, because that's obviously what we're here for. We're here to get you from point A to point Z um, as best as well as as easy as, as possible. Absolutely, my brother. Well, I'm going to tell you all this. This portion might be the easiest portion out of any webinar, out of any virtual class. And that is because our brother is simply going to answer your questions. And this is where this is going to go into, you know, things that some of you may have thought about that you didn't know if a person knew or not or knew how to handle, et cetera. But the brother genuinely just wants to go straight into the Q&A. So right before we do that here, I want everyone to do this in the Q&A section in the chat. Please type in your questions. Don't put it in the standard chat that you're all commenting in right now because it may get lost going all the way up and we have to keep scrolling back through them. So there's a Q&A section that I want all of you to comment on. And I want you to put your questions in there. So we'll give you about a good minute. Put all your questions, whatever questions you have, because we are going to go right into all the answers. And then after that, of course, we have a solution at the end. Uh, because I don't know about you, but I definitely needed help with my credit. Um, I did. And I didn't know how bad it was <laughs> until I started working on it and started figuring out, oh, okay, this is what it means to qualify when you want to buy a house or qualify when you want to get a loan or when you want to do this or that. There's mm -hmm. There's a whole nother world when you understand credit. Now, um, be mindful. Credit, you can look at it multiple ways, all right? But debt is slavery on one end, and debt also can equal money on another end. It can, you know, you have to, it depends on how you look at it. So when it comes to having good credit or bad credit, it depends on exactly what that means for you. It's an individual circumstance. So I just don't want to make sure I put that in everyone's mind so you're not yes, thinking. Sir. Yeah, so, you know, Brother O'Reilly, what, what do you have to say on that, Brother? We already have over 10 questions put in there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, there's um a lot that I would like to say on it, but one of the things that I would like to touch on is um the video. So the video yes, was very well made, Um, you know, very, very much well made. Um, But there's a, a caveat to that, because when you watch the video, it can be a little it can be a little uh, uh, daunting or scary to some. Absolutely. Right. Because that's the way that the video is presented. However, there's a good side to it, okay? Although the Federal Reserve, um, you know, the, the U.S. government, the banks, you know, they, you know, they print the money, they offer the money, they loan the money with interest, but the better your credit is, the lower your interest rates will be, mm -hmm. okay? So when you get to around, you know, the 800, between 800 to 850, say, for instance, if you're trying to get an auto loan, Right. Your auto loan can be 1%. I've, I've actually helped clients where it's at their auto loan. Uh, like, say, for instance, one of my clients, he had a, um, it was like a, it was a suburban, brand new, um, you know, off the lot. I was able to help him get from around 600-ish to around eight, around 800. Well, he's actually at 801 right now, 801, 802. Mm. But, but his interest rates were around 2 to 5%, give or take. Wow. Okay. So that's very, very good. So basically, the more you're able to make your word bond, which is simply that's what credit is, is being able to make your word bond over time, then what happens is your credit rating obviously goes up. So the more that you prove that, yes, I'm able to take out this loan or utilize these credit cards, then at, over a period of time, you're able to not only receive more funding, but your interest rates go down. Now, you don't always want to think about how or what you should get with credit because what happens is uh, people a lot of times once their credit scores go up and i'm sure that many people in the chat can attest to this many people have had good credit scores at one time um and they kind of use it as a weapon or double-edged sword and they hurt themselves as a result because they were able to get as you saw in the video a lot of different credit cards right and they just got you know credit cards and they started spending but they wasn't necessarily focused on the income that they were able to bring in to pay those credit cards back 
Mm-hmm. There are a lot of things that we're going to be discussing in this, you know, in uh, this uh, video or webinar. I'm not going to, you know, discuss them right now, but I would like to hear the uh, questions first. And once we hear the question, then I'll ask them accordingly, because I have a lot that I would like to discuss with you all. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And thank you for that, my brother. Yes, sir. I, I made sure to put the video in there because it gives a, a good overall history. Um, but again, the other side of that is you can, you know, make it work for you. That's what this is. If you decide to go on to establishing credit, which is a smart thing, just be wise about how you use it. You know, as our brother said, make your word bond. If you, you know, get these loans, if you get your credit card, pay it on time, pay it early. And there's some, there are some, uh, some very good tactics that, you know, uh, our brother has, I would say, become very efficient in utilizing that helps with that to boost your scores and make sure that everything looks good. And I mean, I, I learned a lot, you know, and I, I'm thankful for that. So let's go right into the Q and A. Uh, can you see the, the questions on your end, brother? Ray? Um, Let's see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I can so see the questions. Let me see here. So uh, we can go into, so I'll start at the very top here. I believe it's Janae Whitley. First question is, hello, I have three credit cards. I'm late on two payments. My car was totaled and paid off. How do I consolidate all three cards to pay down my debt? It's a very good question. Yes, that's a very good question. Well, first things first is we have to check your credit um, rating first. Um, Because if you are looking to consolidate the debt, generally speaking, that's more so like another loan. And if your credit scores are bad, you know, obviously, you know, there's something that's more personalized. We have to understand it. But the best thing to do is for us to see what your credit scores are. If your credit scores are not good, we have to get your scores up. Okay. Now, once we get your scores up, then from there, we'll then take out or we'll offer or help you be able to get a personal loan. Okay. So the personal loans, the interest rates are usually a lot lower than your consumer credit cards. So you take out a personal loan, one personal loan, you use that particular personal loan to then pay off the credit cards, right, down to zero, and then you pay that loan back. So therefore, you, the amount of interest that you be paying is a lot lower. You're not going to be paying two or three different credit cards back that have, you know, 16.99% interest, 24.99, uh, et cetera, depending on, you know, when the time that you were able to attain a credit card as it relates to your credit rating. But what will help you do is once you get your scores up, then you'll take out a personal loan then you'll utilize that personal loan to pay off the credit cards and then you'll pay that personal loan back. And therefore you'll be able to save money because you're not spending as much in interest by paying that one loan back opposed to two different credit cards. Absolutely. And how many, how long have you been uh, involved in this arena as it pertains to, you know, the results you gained and helping clients with. Uh, yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. So I've been, so I've actually been in it in, uh, for seven years now. I actually started on uh, January 1st, 2016. And uh, this has been the number one thing that I've been doing, my number one source of income. I have not invested or done anything else. I fully dedicated and fully given my time and effort, my blood, sweat, and tears to help uh, people such as the wonderful audience that we have here today to help them achieve their goals. So I've actually been in it since 2016. Um, I did the, uh, on the, maybe two weeks ago, I've actually done the math and I've done the math and based on the math that I've put into the system or the calculator, basically I've actually put in around 48,000 hours that, whereas I've been assisting people. So, mm. um, you know, it, it's, I've been, I put in a lot of time, a lot of time and a lot of effort to not just understand the system and just like what you presented and what you've done, um, to understand the basics, right? And then get into the Fair Credit Reporting Act, the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, um, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, the Federal Reserve. I did all that back in 2000, 2016. Then from mm-hmm. there, what I did was that, you know, I, I began helping people because cool. I understood that debt is slavery and a lot of our people are suffering as a result of um, bad credit. They're not able to make the moves that they would like to make. Right. Mm -hmm. Because you can utilize it as leverage to be able to attain freedom. But you have Mm -hmm. to understand the system first. And that's where the educational part comes in. Absolutely. And I only ask that because I know we just went right into it. But for everyone who is watching, 
You know, this is the company that I went with as it pertains to looking at my own credit, working on my own credit, and it has been widely successful. That is the only reason why you see us doing this today is because I want to make sure you are all put in a good position, if not better than the position that I'm put in. So uh, I think y'all know by now, your brother Reese is not going to share something that he hasn't experienced himself <laughs> and hasn't thoroughly checked. And with the results that I have, I said I would be, I would be wrong to not share at least you know the information with all of you. And uh, again, you you're going to learn different things today for free. It's no charge to you if you want to go further when it comes to you know having the proper company take advantage of helping you with building your credit or reestablishing whatever it is. This is what I recommend. So I make sure I put the website right there in the chat. I'll share the screen so we can look at it. But for those who are asking, you know, this is Brother Orel Muhammad. He has been doing this for a very long time, much longer than any of us uh, for the most part. Uh, but definitely, as I said, it helped me tremendously. So the link to the website is right there. And we're going to talk about that at the very end. But let's go back into the questions here. Thank you again for that answer, Brother Orel, because that was on point. Yes, sir. And this is a very good question. This is a question that I had at the at the very beginning. I don't have credit. How do I start? Mm -hmm. So what, what are two ways you can say that you would tell a person at the very beginning if they have no credit to start building their credit right away? Yes, sir. Well, there are actually three ways that you can start. The first way is um, you can actually add uh, utilities to your credit report. Okay. So you can add utilities such as your cell phone, water bill, electric bill, um, et cetera. You can add it to your credit report. This will then report to your credit and then this will also reflect positive payments that you've been making over a period of time. So that's the first way, adding utilities. The second way is adding rental history. So if you're not currently a homeowner, you can add rental history to your credit report. By adding rental history, this will then show the monthly payments that you've been making over a period of two years. And by you doing this, this would then allow your credit scores to increase and also for you to be able to start now, from there, I would highly recommend that you open up a secure credit card, okay? You can go to your local branch and go down uh, town or wherever your, your local bank is located and then tell them that you would like to open up a secure credit card. Put, you know, two to $300 down on your credit card and then just pay it back over a period of time. Those are three easy ways that I would say that you can start to build credit if you do not already have credit established. 